hello, hello. Today we are making fun mouse ornaments. You can do these in the larger size. You can do them a little bit smaller if you'd like, but everything is from Dollar Tree and it's only going to take minutes to make and you can make a bunch of them. You can also make them for friends and family if you want. So what you're going to need is the large ornament from Dollar Tree. They sell these in several colors, so you can choose which ones you'd like to make them in. You can pick up a tube. They sell these in solid colors. They sell them in mixed colors. So if you wanted to do green, red, silver, and mix it up on your tree, you most certainly could. And then you're going to need some black electrical tape. Now, I do vinyl on mugs and things like that, so all I did was cut a strip of my vinyl and I put it around, but I thought, hey, for you guys, why not just use black electrical tape? And then I'll give you another idea when we're all finished. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take your large ornament, and what I did was, I have this little tool set, and Dollar Tree sells a set just like this in a little case. So go to the hardware department, you'll find a whole bunch of these little tools for a dollar. Then what you're going to do is you're going to come to your ball and there's a seam right on the ball and you want to make sure you get it on the seam because you don't really want that seam showing anywhere else and it looks like it's more um, complete when it's on a nice seam right here. And you're going to estimate where you want your ears and you're going to poke a hole. So just hold the ball down as much as you can and press down as hard as you can. It's going to pop. Okay, did you hear that pop? Okay, so it is going to have a little bit of a marking where your glitter came off on here, you know, the silver part, but it's okay because you're not going to see it. Then you're going to take a real pointy pair of scissors. Now I also got these at Dollar Tree and you're just going to stick it in the hole and you're going to move it around a little bit just to open that hole up a little bit because what's going to happen is we're going to use our ornaments and they're going to pop right into that hole. So I'm going to use this decorative one that looks kind of like a golf ball. Okay, so it has a little different texture to it than the silver. And you're going to pop off the top of it. So you just have that. And then all you have to do is come back to your ball and pop it right in. Oh, okay, so I didn't make my hole big enough, so it didn't work right the way I wanted it to. Maybe the other side will, but what we're going to do is we are going to... Normally, if you do it right, it would stay in there. But because that happened, and I always like to show you guys my mistakes, is we're going to put some hot glue on here. It's very easily fixable. I don't want anybody to get discouraged when things don't work out right. And we're just going to stick it in the hole. Okay? So there you go. It's that simple to fix. But what I wanted to show you is when it does work right, they pop right off and on. Okay? See? So this was the first one I made, and it just worked right, and it pops right back on. So I want you guys to see that when it does work right, they just pop off and on. Okay, see the perfect hole? And it just works out sometimes. So there you go, and that's how it works, so that you know that it works. And sometimes you don't have to use any hot glue or anything. If you want to, to make sure they don't come apart, you most certainly can do that. But I just wanted to show you guys that it does work. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take the other one. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to come over here and we're going to estimate where we want our hole. Okay? And hold it down really good. I have to put it down here because I don't want it to crack again the way it did. Okay? So we got our little hole in there. See, here's our hole right there. And we're just going to take our scissors and we're going to open that hole up a little. Okay, so now it's working better this time. So I like to show you guys my mistakes because I don't want anybody to get discouraged. Now look how perfect that hole is. Okay, so things happen and sometimes they're out of your control. It's okay. It can be fixed. Okay, so then all we're going to do is we're going to pop. See how that worked? Popped right in there. No problem. So that one cracked on me. Don't get discouraged. Just put it in there. And there you go, you're all done. Now you have your little mouse ears. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of black electrical tape. You want to kind of estimate how much you're going to need. Or you can start again on your seam, okay, and slowly bring it around because you don't want it to curl up on you, like uh, bubble up on you, okay? So you want to estimate where it's going to go. And we're just going to come around, okay? And we're going to cut it back on that seam. Okay, and I actually like the black electrical tape a little bit better. 
oops, but you can pull it back. See, I wasn't even there, so just pull it back, and there you go. You're all done. Okay, so let's cut this off. Okay, so if you have a problem like I did with the first ear, all you have to do is hot glue it on. And you could do the same thing here. So if we wanted to, we can just pop it off. We can add some hot glue on here. Make sure it's hot glue so that it stays nice and um, firm on there, okay? And then just pop it back on, hold it a minute, and you're all done. And you, um, but how cute is that? And it took just minutes to make, and they're super, super easy and fun, and you can give these away as holiday gifts. Um, if you do do any kind of vinyl, you can personalize them and put their name on them. And maybe next year, um, when I am feeling better um, and I conquer the breast cancer, I most certainly um, can maybe start personalizing some of these for all of you. So I just wanted to share this fun, super easy way that you guys can make fun ornaments with the kids. Just be careful. If you're going to use the punch the way I did and the scissors, maybe you want to do that part and let them decorate it however they want. You can use glitter. You can do different things. And I wanted to say, if you wanted to, you could take a little bit of glue. So just brush it on with a paintbrush and add black glitter around it. How fun would that be? Or they look fine just the way they are. So have fun making your own mouse ornaments. And I will see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye now.